Hey babes, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today, I should probably watch it. So today, we are going to answer some makeup questions. Um, I asked a question on my Instagram a few days ago. And I was like, you know what? A lot of makeup questions are coming up. So why not? get the makeup questions all in one video so we have a few questions here that we're gonna answer and while we answer those I'm gonna be doing a creative makeup look y'all know how we do it over here so I'm gonna attempt to do something creative today and you guys will tell me if you like it yes or no but without further ado let's get into this video get out right now you so we put back my hair, <laughs> basically. And what we're gonna start off with is my Fenty Beauty Primer. I live by this. What am I, sugar? There's no reason for me to put on so much right now since I'm not going anywhere, but who cares? So, I learned this trick the other day where I'm going to block out my brows and I think I want to try it again because like I said we're going to do a creative look so I'm going to see what we can come up with. I just need my brows completely gone for this look. That's all I know. <laughs> so I need my my Elmer's glue, a spoolie, my Lava Mercier powder, my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I think that should do. So we're gonna get started with that. But while we do, we're gonna answer our first question. If I can ever go and hide all of my sugar, hi, baby, do you need things? So the first question is, how do you make your makeup last in heat all day? So for my makeup to last in heat, right? I normally just prime my face and set my face really well. So you see that same primer that I use. I use it all the time. Fenty and then uh, my setting powder, the same setting powder, Laura Mercier, does wonder. Once you set your. Leave that to dry a bit. So, once you set your face properly, your makeup is supposed to last no matter where you go. Obviously, touch up like during the day. What I mean by touch up, I mean like just take off some oil and I'll use paper towel, take off some oil and just like, you know, freshen on my face. Well, that's basically all I do. <laughs> so someone was telling me to get rid of the dark, like the dark brows. You need like red or orange or dark orange makeup. So we're going to use one of these colors. Take a fluffy brush and pat it on. So as you can see, it's already helping. Then we're going to our concealer. I'm gonna finish this off camera and then be right back, okay? So I didn't like what it's on, so we're back to scratch. Yeah. And this happens when you have no plan, but you wanna do things, yeah. Why not? Okay, so when I do my actual brows, I normally do them with my Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is my second best. My first best is my precise for my brow but I don't have any of that now so we're gonna use this how do you do makeup so well have you ever thought of doing a business to do make people's makeup so no here's why right I'm a perfectionist and I get anxiety when I do people makeup I don't like to do people makeup in the sense that I don't want them to hate it afterwards so I normally just don't do it. Also, I don't have the extra time to create a whole business to do makeup because I know makeup artists and they take a lot of dedication to do person's makeup and like especially events and so on. I be going to those events and I don't want to sit down and do somebody else's makeup because then I don't want to do my makeup after I don't do their makeup and then blah uh, blah and I'm just tired. No. <laughs> no. And then as well too normally in those moments like events i normally reach home and have like an hour to do everything for myself so imagine making plans to do person's makeup and card with you know what I'm so i feel like if that's a big commitment and i'm not that into pe doing people's makeup in order for me to commit that commitment 
You understand? How do you do your makeup with your nails? I find it really difficult. So, fun fact, my nails were actually very long in high school, like my natural nails. And I only started cutting them shorter when I was in college. So I'm already accustomed to nails. So that's why the other day when my nails had broke on me, I was basically handicapped because I couldn't function without nails. And that's why I started doing nails. Normally don't do nails, but I at least need something to work with. So there's that. So now that we have a base set, we can actually continue. So for this look, listen, I'm gonna try something. So we're gonna try it together. I'm gonna be doing a kind of reddish, you know, kind of look. So you just bear with me. But I'm not gonna do any reds on top of the eyes. So like I said, you're gonna bear with me, okay? We're gonna take my Morphe palette and we're gonna set a base on my eyes. Take a fluffy brush. Would you rate Fenty Beauty the best makeup product? So honestly, majority of fancy products i would recommend to anybody but there are some really good products i do use instead of my fancy beauty products such as like my brows and my concealers i use my fancy beauty concealers all the time right but i just find like ellie girl is unmatched especially for black skins not saying fancy is not it's just i'm already accustomed to that before fancy came out and then that's like my go-to so I use that. Their bronzer I use every time I do my makeup. Their mascara is really good as well. But I don't use it for like everyday wear because I could barely get it hair so I won't waste it. The brow product is more like if I don't want like a dramatic look and that's fine. So I won't say it's the best product but I would say that it's up there so it's like one of the best. Okay? I forgot to tell y'all which shade I'm using. I'm using Just Friends. After that, we're gonna take uh, another lighter brown and put it in the inner corners. I'm gonna take another fluffy brush. We're going in with my Fenty Beauty Snappable Makeup. I think that's what they're called. Snappable Eyeshadows. Mix it with the glitter, so these two shades. And we're just gonna dab it on in here. The best eyeliner to use. So, the best eyeliner I have ever used would I have to be from House of Zen and that's a local brand and I don't know whether the eyeliner the pigment in that was perfect I just start makeup and I have some supplies so I need some tips before I answer the question don't mind how dirty it is we're gonna be using my Fenty Beauty fly liner I believe that's what it's called fly pencil in this brown shade you need some tips well my tip can be you can follow subscribe to this channel and you could like see the different tips that like I tell you in between videos I have an eyebrow tutorial I have an eyeliner tutorial I give like the tips in different videos you can check out this video right here this video right here this video right here and this video right here a lot of them are packed with little tips here and there when I do my makeup. Again, I'm going to show you guys my new trick that I do with my concealer and foundation that makes it look less like your face is full of makeup. It just transitions easier. What was your favorite makeup look? I don't know. My makeup looks keep getting better and better. So I don't have a favorite because every time I think one is my favorite, I do another one and I really like it so I don't have favorites like like I don't know I I'm a weird person I don't have much favorite things I feel like if it always keeps changing the only thing you can definitely say is my favorite is like my color but I think everything keeps changing and you have to change with it so I don't keep favorites this is what I highlight with but I'm gonna take my lightest concealer and put it right in the corner where my dark circles are. So this is LA Girl Pro Concealer and then this is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 330. After I put on that concealer, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Pro Concealer in 380. Yes, 380 and we're gonna add it right yeah. Then we're gonna add it by the corner of my nose and then we're gonna add it to my forehead. 
Now we're not finished, but before we finish, I'm gonna damp my sponge. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. My sponge is damp. How we continue this whole process is that we take Aldean Cosmetics Foundation and we're gonna spray some right here, 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 and here. You don't need much, you are sure. By the way, you can get this thumbs off if you purchase by Aldean and use my code KEV01 right here. You're welcome. You're gonna take a foundation brush, blend out the foundation first. And now that's finished, we can start blending everything else because it will blend smoothly into it. Can you give me a list of all the basics, please, for makeup because I wanna start. Okay, so if you start to not with makeup, I'm gonna tell you what I started off with. I started off with lipsticks and mascara. But obviously makeup is more developed now because I started off makeup in secondary school. Like from well to be honest, I was always in makeup because I'm all and so on, but like to do my own makeup like from three or so. So what I would suggest you start off with in this day age is brow product. Because everybody does their brows these days. Mascara, definitely mascara. Concealer. If you don't want to get foundation, concealer is your best friend, girl, because sometimes you can wear concealer without foundation. Once you get your shade, you don't need foundation, girlfriend. And that's how I wear my everyday makeup. I don't have foundation. I'll link it right up here. I'm not sure what side it is, but right up here, you would see my everyday makeup routine does not involve foundation. I just want to make sure like it's blended. So like all here, it start blending into my foundation at the bottom. I know I'm looking like real a hole, but like this is how makeup. Makeup is a process, my darlings. Setting powder. I think you should invest in a setting powder and a primer because girl those are your best friends even if you don't want a setting powder a setting spray is definitely needed so let's go back over that list again brow product concealer mascara setting powder setting spray that's the basics that you may need oh lately some persons have been just doing like conceal and then blush so you can do that too or you can purchase a bronzer because I'll show you what a bronzer does just now okay now that we have everything blended we're gonna set with my Laura Mercier powder this comment came in very timely how to blend no matter how hard I try with makeup my makeup does not blend sweetheart it's practice like I don't know how to instruct somebody on how to blend but I think it's practice your makeup would not always blend perfectly trust me it have days when my makeup probably doesn't blend properly but I call I just blend it just now to try you can try this technique and see if it works for you to try to blend it together to make sure that there's no harsh lines on your face you can try that because there's not one way of blending but you just want to make sure that you know everything is looks seamless basically i'm gonna show you an example because like my bronzer is something that i still struggle with blending all the time but i make do with it so uh, let me show you don't mind how dark it is we're gonna take my fancy beauty bronzer in coconutty and we're gonna give our face some color again so in a case like this i blend upward like I don't want my bronzer all the way down there, I want it more on my cheek. So I blend upwards, out and up, out and up, out, out and up. This is what I want the makeup to focus on. So this is my key zone that like I highlight the most. I could dust with some of the powder with the bronzer up here so my face my forehead not my face my forehead isn't that shiny take a tin brush blending brush coconutty again contour your nose me personally like powdered products i don't like cream products so 
people have their preferences i use powder products persons use cream products you have your preference so you do it according to your preference okay now we're getting somewhere i'm looking decent you're gonna take this blood this fluffy brush you're gonna dust off all the excess in the process it should be blending your nose okay so we're not finishing off yet because we have to go back in with our eyes so we're gonna go and find a color that matches my hair basically i mean this is a bit bright but i'm gonna mix these two colors so you got a long way to go do you wear fake lashes to work um no i used to on a friday when i used to dress up but and I don't wear makeup to work like that. Um, I'm normally busty. Because ain't nobody got time for that. This is supposed to have a wake up already, so <laughs> no. 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 We're gonna take these two fine brushes because of the smallest ones I can find. And we're gonna try and do something on the, the eyes. How did you come so good at makeup? Well, you see. I usually just sit down in my room every time I'm supposed to be studying in high school. Do not follow this. Please don't follow this and don't tell your parents that I tell you to do that. No, I did not. I used to sit down in my room when I was studying, take study breaks, and I used to play up in my makeup. I used to have to wear makeup for dancing and modeling, so I had makeup. So I used to play up in my makeup and eventually it was like self-taught what i used to watch on youtube and what i used to try at home and then like now tiktok just brings out so much different techniques and you try you keep practicing like like me doing makeup right now this is practice for me i don't think i'm a professional so this is practice for me every time i do i like take makeup out do makeup it's practice for me so when I'm trying things, I would never try it when I'm going out. Practice makes perfect. You can't just pick up a makeup brush and expect you to do makeup well for the first time. Unless you're really talented. Who knows? But like, realistically, you can't. So that's the red on the eyes. I'm gonna take some and drag it down. Yeah, I'll probably be like, what are you doing? So you got a long way to go. So you are probably like, come here, what are you doing? We do things in steps, okay? Did you ever buy a makeup item that didn't work? Tons. I mean, I can name it. A ton. Over the last couple of years, obviously, there are some makeup products that would not work. But we don't know that when, you know. So, we obviously, we would still buy them, but we won't know that prior to. Which is unfortunate, but... Where you And I'm gonna just take some glue. Because I have nails, I just have to lean into it. Oh. How many eyeshadow palettes do you own? Before I continue into this, let me just show you guys. First, I own the James Charles Time Morphe palette um, that stopped selling. <laughs> then I own the Morphe 3. 35 XO, the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Collection Palette, Morphe 35B, Absolute Perfect 40 Colors, the Zulu from Julia, the Masquerade from Julia's Palace, the Festival by Julia's Palace, this Naked Chocolate from I Love Makeup, the OGs on my channel will know about this palette. This Amuse palette, my two Fenty Beauty snappables, number one and number four, and I'm counting my Fenty Kilowatt palette foil, Kilowatt foil palette as one as well because you can use the colors as eyeshadows. I'm gonna leave a tally right here because I'm not counting those over. <laughs> what part of your face do you do first? Well, I always primer, but like majority of the time is my brows. I rather if I get my brows out the way first and then my eyes. None of thing I should come after. I'm gonna put some on and be right back, okay? Because I'm gonna struggle a lot and I don't want y'all to me to struggle that much. So, I did a little like wing golden moment look. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. And I'm gonna add some gold in different places. How do you come up with these brilliant makeup looks? Well, as you can see, 
luck and chance. <laughs> I just fool around and whatever comes out comes out because right now I don't have a plan. I'm just doing as I go. Would you rather bright colors or nudes? Realistically, when I go out, especially in some instance, I I wear my nudes. But when I'm home playing around in makeup, I like my bright colors. I keep forgetting that trophy wife is like a very bright highlight. We need some mascara. When I'm putting on my lashes, I just use Bad Girl from Benefit. Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. And now my lashes. I'm gonna use lashes from this pack. I bought this pack on Pretty Little Thing. I guess it would have to do. I don't know if it's just me, but like, I don't like it. Like, this lash just looks so weird, and then this lash looks so nice. Like, make it make sense. Anyway, so we're wrapping up. We have two more questions, and while we answer these two more questions, I'm gonna finish up my makeup look. We're gonna be using my Ollie in Cosmetics lipstick and remember you can get this a discount on getting any product from Arlene Cosmetics using my code KEV01 So the last two questions How long ago did you start getting serious into makeup? I think I answered this earlier like form three in high school but like seriously 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 buying like everything for makeup is probably when I went to England that's when I got like my setting powder my lashes and so on that's when I started wearing lashes and what's not and uh, what products do you recommend for new makeup users LA Girl Cosmetics is always a friendly person especially for black girls would suggest that all the time um, although it's hard to get, I would recommend Fenty. So for those of you who are in the space to be able to get Fenty Beauty, you should get it. It's very easy makeup to use and it's very natural, especially if you don't want heavy makeup. Other than that, NYX is like a NYX, that's it right, NYX. It's always a good makeup friendly, like to start off, it's always a good brand to start off. Sometimes they might not be the best quality, but it is good to start off with those who are in some Vincent, if you're looking for lippies and foundation and concealers and so on, and you want to support a local brand, you can go and check out Aldean Cosmetics. Remember, code KEV01. And uh, yeah, so this is the final look. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to start doing this, right? I know I always tell y'all, okay, let me give you shout outs. Shout outs, yes, yes, yes. But y'all don't comment enough on my videos for me to give you shout outs. I need y'all to comment and the funniest comment would get a shout out at the end of every video, right? Also, to keep things interested, Please tell me down below in the comments, again, where you come from. If you saw this video on Instagram and you came from Instagram or if you came from TikTok or if you came notification gang, 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 let me know down in the comments below. But don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications, share with your friends. By the way guys, we hit 4600 subscribers. So let's keep it up keep sharing <laughs> and until next time bye bye but out of my mind i'm still too young